Hello, my name is Drew Jarvis and I'm an application specialist with SolidCAD in Port Moody, BC. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Dynamo for sanitary pipe sizing in Revit. In this very generic model I have here, you can see we do have some elements which have fixture units inside of them. So as I pick different areas here, you can see all these fixture units are coming from my families here. So if I zoom in to this area down in the corner, we can see that currently all the pipes are three inch. Typically, we would use a pipe sizing table like this, indicating different slope values up here. And then for example, at a 2% or one over 50, you can see for different numbers of fixture units, the pipe sizes. So anything between 840 and 2250 is gonna come up as an eight inch pipe. So I decided to use Dynamo within Revit to take the logic from that Excel table and apply it to the pipes. However, there are pipes and pipe fittings that need to be set up. So there are a few challenges. Over here, I import the Excel data. Up here, I get the fixed unit values within all of the pipes. This allows me to then use an if statement to size those pipes using a set parameter. So I can set the diameter based on the values here. The fittings, however, also need to be taken account of. Fixed units are not on pipe fittings. So what I do is I take the pipes, I look for the fittings on either side or three sides on a T and find those pipe fittings. So this involved a little bit of Python that looks for those elements. We then look for the largest number on any of the connected pipes on a pipe fitting and use that to then size the pipe fittings. I also needed to control which was done first. I needed to make sure that the pipe fittings were done before the pipes. This negates a lot of uh, transitions being created, which then get problems with the model. So I use the function compose as a bit of a hack just to do the pipe fittings and then the pipes. So if I go ahead and hit run, we can see back in the Revit model that it has sized the pipes. So a 10 inch pipe there, due to the fact that it has 2304 fixture units. Let's take a look at that Excel table. And so 2304 at a 50 ratio slope, brings us in this area here, that gives us a 10 inch pipe. Now the nice thing about having the Excel table is that you can modify the values for local code requirements, and this should be able to work on any systems you have. So thank you for taking a look at my solution for sanitary pipe sizing inside of Revit using Dynamo. My name is Drew Jarvis. I'm an application specialist with SolidCAD in Port Moody, BC, and I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions.